Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to review and show how to use this Heart Basic Stud Finder. I got this one at Walmart. And here's what's on the back of the packaging here. And on the packaging, there's a lot of information and warnings. So make sure that you read through all of this information and understand it completely. Okay, so um, before we begin to make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. Okay, so now I'm going to take this out of the packaging and then I'll be back and we'll go from there. Okay, so here is the basic stud finder and then here is the operator's manual. And this is really important. Make sure that you read through this operator's manual completely and understand it completely before you do use the basic stud finder. This has lots of information and warnings that you need to be aware of. Okay, so the basic stud finder takes two AAA batteries, which it does not come with. So I'm going to get the AAA batteries and install them, and they go into the battery compartment here. Just make sure that you install the batteries the correct direction. And then once you have the batteries installed correctly, we're just going to shut the battery compartment door until it snaps all the way into place like so. Okay, so I'm just about ready to test this out. But before we begin, I wanted to let you know there are many different things that can cause inaccurate readings with the basic stud finder. There can be water pipes or gas pipes or electrical wiring or other things behind the wall that you're scanning that can show up as a stud with the basic stud finder and that's really dangerous. So you wanna be aware of that. Um, the stud finder can help us determine where the stud is at, but shouldn't be the only thing that you're using to determine where the stud is at. Okay, so I'm going to be testing the stud finder out on this stud right here, and I've marked the sides of the stud with a pencil with a different stud finder just so we know where it's at. And then another way that I can tell that a stud's here is because this drywall is not painted and we can see that they nailed the drywall on the stud all the way down and so it gives us an idea that there should be a stud right here. Okay, so you want to hold the stud finder flat against the wall and you want your hand on the handle part of the stud finder. You do not want your hand near the top of the stud finder because you can get inaccurate readings or false readings. Then I'm going to press and hold the blue button and then we're going to start to move the stud finder towards the center of the stud. And as we do that, the red lights on the stud finder will start to light up until you get to the center of the stud and then the green part of the arrow will light up. And then as as we move away from the center of the stud, the red parts of the arrow will light up until eventually the lights turn off. And when you are using the basic stud finder, you want to make sure that you're holding it firmly against the wall. And if you're to start on the middle of a stud like this, if we press the button and hold it, we can see that nothing's happening. So if we move the stud finder away from the center of the stud, and then we move the stud finder back towards the center of the stud, we can see that it would be working now. So you just want to keep that in mind. And when you do get to the center of a stud, you can mark it with a pencil just so you know where it's at. Okay, so here's what I think of the Heart Basic Stud Finder. I think that this is a good basic stud finder if you know what's behind your walls. But this does not have a way to detect live wires behind your walls. And Heart does make a different stud finder with a live wire detector. And I do plan on making a future video on how to use that stud finder and to do a review on it. And when I do make that video, I'll link that video at the end of this one. All right, guys, so that's it for this video, and I hope it's been helpful, and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.